the Upanishad series. How does a master rule? How does a master rule? There is a question. We, in our unawareness and egoistic state, are not always in touch with the master. But is the master always in touch with us? Is the master always in touch with us? Yes, the master is always in touch with not only you instead with the entire existence. You may not be aware of it most of the time. Indeed, the master is in touch with all the four layers of you. Your conscious layer is only one of the four layers, but that is possible only when you are surrendered and accepted him as your master. Not before that. If you are just a student learning, then when you are in touch, the master is in touch. When you are not in touch, he is also not in touch. You have to understand this phenomenon. Your mind has four layers. The superconscious, which is the possibility of the future, of which only seeds you carry, but nothing has been sprouted yet. Only seed or just the potentiality is there. Second is the conscious mind. It is very small fragment with which you reason, think, decide, argue, doubt, believe. This cons conscious mind is in touch with the master to whom you have not yet surrendered. So whenever this is in touch, the master is in touch. If there is not a touch, then the master is not in touch with you. You are simply a student and you have not taken the master as a master. You will think about him as a teacher. Teacher and a student exist in the conscious mind. Nothing can be done because you are not open. All your three doors are still closed. This is what happens at the conscious layer. The third layer is superconscious. It is just a seed. You cannot open its door. Then the subconscious layer, it is just below the conscious layer. That is possible if you love. If you are here with the master only because of your reasoning, your conscious door is open. Whenever you open it, the master is there. If you do not open it, he is outside and then he cannot enter. Just below the conscious is the subconscious layer. If you are in love with me, not just as a teacher and a student relation, but more intimate, a love-like phenomenon, then subconscious door opens. Then subconscious door opens. Many times 
you will close the conscious door. You will argue against me. Sometimes you will be negative and then against me. But that does not matter. The unconscious door of love is open and I can always remain in touch with you. But that too is not a perfect door because sometimes you can hate me. If you hate, you have closed that door. Love is there but the opposite hate is also there. Hate is always there with love. The second door will be more open than the first because the first changes its mood as fast that even you do not know it. Any moment it goes on changing. Just one moment it was here, the next moment it is not there. It is a momentary phenomenon. Love is a little longer. It also changes its moods, but its moods have a longer period. Sometimes you will hate in 30 days, almost there will be 8 days, 1 week and 4 days. You will hate, but 3 weeks it is open. With the reason a week is too long like eternity. With reason one moment it is here and another moment against for and against, the game goes on. If the second door is open and you are in love with me, even if the door with reason is closed, I can remain in touch. The third door is below the subconscious and that is unconscious door. Reason opens the first door if you feel convinced with me, love opens the second door which is higher than the first. If you are in love with me, not convinced, but in love, feeling an affinity, harmony and affection. The third door opens only by surrender. If you are initiated, even if you are initiated by someone else and you understand that at cosmic level all masters are same, they carry the same divine current, their outer methodologies may be different but innerness remains the same. Then it does not matter to whom you are initiated, your process continues. If you are initiated with a master, he opens you to the unknown and unknowable. And you will understand it only because of the grace of the master and your effort. Sometimes people are initiated by one master but they remain close to the entire existence of others. There are those with whom initiation with one master opens them to the entire existence. You can take a jump into initiation and say, now you be my mind. Now you can take the reins of me. Now you guide me and I will follow. 
Not that you will always be able to do it, but just the very gesture that you are surrendered opens the third door. And as I said, once you are surrendered to one master and open to the entire existence, not living in the narrow, in the narrow cell, then the third door opens and remains open. You may be against to me rationally, it does not matter, I am in touch. You may hate, it does not matter, I am in touch again. Because the third door always remains open, you have surrendered and it is very difficult to close this third door once it is open. Very difficult it is to open and also very difficult to close. It is difficult to open but not as difficult as to close it. But that too can be closed because you have opened it. That too can be closed you can decide someday to take your surrender back or you can go and surrender yourself to somebody else but that never, almost never happens because with the, these three doors the master is working to open the fourth. So there is almost impossible that you will be able to take your surrender back. Before you have taken it, he must have opened the fourth door which is beyond you. You cannot open or close it. The door that you open, you remain the master to close it also. But the fourth has nothing to do with you. It is the door of superconscious. All these three doors are needed to open so master can forge a key for the fourth door. Because you do not have the key, otherwise you yourself can open it. The master can force the key. It is a forgery because the owner himself does not have the key. The whole effort of the master is to have enough time so that from these three doors to enter to the fourth and forge a key to open this fourth door. Once it is opened, you are no more. You cannot do anything now. You may close all the three doors, but the master has the key for the fourth and he is always in contact. Then even if you die, it does not matter. You go to the very end of the earth or the moon. Nothing makes any difference. The master has the key for the fourth door. And in fact, the real master never keeps the key. He simply opens the fourth door and throws the key in the ocean. So there is no possibility to steal it or do anything, nothing can be done. I have forced a fo key for the fourth door with many of you and have thrown it. So there is unnecessarily no trouble now. It is futile. Now nothing can be done. Once the fourth door is open, then there is no problem. All problems exist because at the very last moment the master was getting ready 
the key because the key is difficult. For millions of lives the door has remained closed and has gathered all sort of rust. It looks like a wall into the door. It is difficult to find where the lock is and everybody has a separate lock. So, the, so there is no master key. The key cannot help because somebody is as individual as your thumb print. Nobody has that print anywhere, not in the past, never in the future. Your thumb print is simply yours. A single phenomenon, it is never repeated. Your inner lock is also like your thumbprint. It is absolutely personal, unique and individual. No master key can help. That is why a master is in is needed. Because a master key cannot be purchased. Otherwise, once a key is made, nobody's door, everybody's door can be opened. No. Everybody has a separate type of a door, a separate type of a lock, and his own locking system. And you will have to watch and find the way to forge a key, a special key for it. Once your fourth door is open, then the master is in constant touch with you. You may forget him completely, but it makes no difference. You may not remember him, that too makes no difference. The master leaves the body, it makes no difference. Wherever he is, wherever you are, the door is open. And this door exists beyond time and space. That is why it is super mind, it is super conscious. Only when the fourth door is open that you are in touch with the master. Otherwise, with the third door, he is more or less in contact. However, with the second door, half the time, Almost he is in contact with the first door. The contact is very momentary. So allow the master to open your fourth door. And remember the fourth door is opened in a certain moment. That moment is when your all the three doors are open. Even if a single door is closed, the fourth cannot be opened. It is a mathematical puzzle and this condition is needed. In the process, first your conscious door is open, then your second door opens. This is your subconscious, your love, you have surrendered. You have taken a step into the initiation and your third unconscious door is open now. When all the three doors are open, then in a certain moment the fourth can be opened. So it happens that while you are awake, the fourth is difficult to open. While you are asleep, only then the fourth door opens. So the real walk is not in the day, it is in the night. When you are fast asleep, snoring, because then you will not create any trouble. You are so fast asleep that you do not reason against, you have forgotten about reasoning in deep sleep. Your heart functions well. You are more loving than when you are awake. Because when you are awake, many fears surround you. 
and because of fear love is not possible. When you are fast asleep, fear disappears, love flowers, love is a night flower. You must have watched Night Queen, the flower that blossoms in the night. Love is Night Queen. It flowers in the night alone. It is because of you and there is no other reason. It can flower in the day, but then you have to change yourself. Tremendous change is needed before love can flower in the day. That is why you do not, that is why you see that when people are intoxicated, they are more loving. Go into any tavern where people have drunk so much, they almost always love. See two drunkards moving on the street, hanging on each other's shoulder as if they are one, they are asleep. When you are afraid, the flower of love does not blossom. Only when there is no fear, the flower of love blossoms because fear is the poison. And when Deep down in sleep you are already surrendered because sleep is surrendered and you have surrendered then the master can enter into your sleep. You will not be even able to hear his footsteps he can enter silently and walk. It is a forgery. Just like thieves enter in the night, when you are asleep, a master is a thief of innerness. When you are fast asleep, you do not know what is happening. He enters in you and opens the fourth door. Once the fourth is open, then there is no problem. Every effort and every trouble that you can create, you can create only before the fourth door is open. The fourth is a point of no return. Once the fourth door is open, the master can 24 hours be with you. There is no other way. And there is no problem. This is how a master does work.